Ooh. Has this ever happened to you? You're rolling right along with an op session and then all of a sudden one of your freight cars derails. And what's really frustrating is not every car derails at this switch. So it must not be the switch's fault, right? And the other thing that's frustrating is maybe you've tested it out just after putting the switch in here, yet it's now derailing and now that you have an op session. Well, hello and welcome to the Stockyard Industrial Lead. I'm Eric Miller and today I'm going to take you through some techniques that I've got for keeping our freight cars clean, keeping our locomotives clean, and keeping our track clean. Um, I just thought I would share a little bit about what I do on my layout and might give you some ideas of what you can do on your layout. So first of all, we're going to start with this uh, derailed car that I've got here, which is a prime example of something that's got a problem. So on this particular car, I got it second hand, and I don't know if you can see there, but the wheels are really dirty. I'm guessing that somebody was um, uh, putting some dull coat on this car and left the wheels on while they did it, and so they're a little grimy. Now, personally, I usually don't actually clean wheel sets, freight car wheel sets. I do find that they don't really get that dirty. Um, especially the kind of wheel sets that I use. So I find that I don't really have to clean them. Um, so on this particular car, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just taking the wheel sets off um, so that we can get some clean ones on there. And then we'd have to take them off to clean them out anyways. So I'll show you the types of wheel sets that I like to use. And then after I show you that to you, I'll show you how I keep the, the track clean and then uh, some techniques that I use on locomotives. Okay, so I've got some cleaner wheels on this freight car, so it should roll a lot smoother. Uh, notice there's no grime or anything dull looking on these wheels. Now, what I like to use are Intermountain wheel sets. Um, I'm not sure if these are readily available anymore, I'll have to check. But I bought these in bulk a long time ago, back in the day when Caboose Hobbies was open. And so they're my preferred wheel set because they're super smooth and super clean, and they can go on basically any car. Um, I like to use these with AccuRail trucks if I have to like completely start over with a, working on a freight car and doing the truck. Um, just compare these. This is a an, an Intermountain wheel set. Compare it to the KD wheel set. This is one that I got on a, a used car. So if you try to focus here. Um, but, you know, looking at these, you can just tell the difference. There we go. Between, you know, the grimy look and um, the smooth wheel set here on the left. Uh, the Katie wheel sets I've I've used before. I've tried to use these because I have a friend that I bought a lot of stuff from, and he really used these on his cars. And uh, but he also had like Code 100 tracks so that might have helped. Um, but these I've literally seen them jump over uh, switches, switch points, and derail a car, and then I'll swap it out for one of these Intermountain wheel sets, and it'll run smooth as silk. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little speed test here, see if this works. Um, this is a 1% grade right here. So we're going to just do a little test and see which one of these gets rolling the fastest down the track. And you'll see the Atlas wheel set there on the left just starts breaking away. Um, so that's how you can tell one, one good test. And obviously you can do that with the whole freight car too. Um, but that's my preferred wheel set. So just to show you that. Now if you are going to clean them, I would suggest then uh, using a um, like a cotton swab with some alcohol uh, to clean the wheel sets off. So next I will go into showing you how I keep my locomotives clean. So for cleaning locomotives, what you'll need is your trusty locomotive, um, a bottle of 91% isopropyl alcohol. doesn't really matter what brand it is. It's pretty much the same. And a paper towel. And then obviously uh, your throttle. Now what we're going to do is pretty simple here. I like to do this anytime before I run an op session or like if I'm making a video about my ops. Okay, I've just poured out a little bit of, of isopropyl alcohol here. And dab a little bit more on there. It's probably enough. Okay. Now we're gonna set this under one truck and keep the other truck on the track. Keep your hand on the locomotive and throw it all the way to the highest speed setting. And then just kind of rub it on the paper towel a little bit. Okay. 
Yeah, we got a little bit of dirt. This one's fairly clean. Now we'll go to the other end. Alright, so as you can see, we got a little bit of dirt there at the top. Uh, not a ton. Like this was, I don't know if you remember the RDC from um, like a month ago that I cleaned the wheel sets off. Got a lot more dirt. Um, so this, you know, when you don't run a ton and also, um, you know, with the, the small layout, you don't, you don't put a lot of miles on it. But every locomotive is susceptible to getting some dirt and grime on the wheel sets, especially because you've got you know, the, the tractive effort of the locomotive pushing and pulling the cars around. So it's a good idea to, to do this, I don't know, every every couple months or so, or definitely, like I said before, an op session. Um, and then here we are with the, uh, the nice uh, shiny wheels there underneath. All right, so the last thing I will talk to you about is keeping those tracks clean. Okay, so we're back at this uh, new bridge area. So what I like to use for keeping my track clean is the Sandflex hand block. Um, I find that it's it's got this is the fine uh, material. I find that it's got a real smooth smoothness to it that's really good for cleaning the tracks. And especially since I don't have any hard to reach areas, being you know mostly a, a shelf layout basically, it's really easy to just go through. And this is what I'll do before every op session is just kind of go through and clean it. And um, as you can see, you can go through your turnouts pretty easily over your bridge. Um, obviously those bridges are easier. These are a little bit trickier, um, but you can still kind of just pass it through and do a real simple cleaning like that. Um, so that's, that's my basic thing that I do. I don't really need to find the need to run a, a special car around the layout or anything like that. I just go through with the cleaning block and keep it clean. Um, obviously after you do any scenery work in an area, you'll want to clean a little bit more. And then if, um, this abrasive will sometimes leave behind um, some fine like dust to it. Um, and if you've got any of that, then obviously you want to vacuum it up to get, get rid of it. But um, that's what I use. So those are the, the things that I do before I have an op session is check my freight cars, uh, make sure the wheels are running well. Also, you know, I kind of go through and make sure that I haven't gotten any new freight cars that don't have like a plastic coupler or anything like that on them. Um, you also want to make sure the, the weights are good. I usually NMRA standards for that um, because the weight also will, will be something that will help um, cars not derail. If they're heavy enough, uh, they'll go through the turnouts a lot easier and stay on the track better, not wobble and stuff like that. And then uh, clean my the locomotive that I'm planning to use for that specific op session, clean the wheels off, and uh, that'll keep things really good and uh, running well. So those are my tips. Um, hope, hope they're uh, useful to you. Um, I might not be spreading new information to a lot of you. I bet if uh, you're up and running your layouts, you may already be doing this and you might have your own cleaning methods too. But I just thought I would share what I do. And um, as always, no matter what you use, I think it's a good idea to, you know, every month or two, depending on how often you operate, to go through these uh, techniques and and keep everything clean and definitely before an op session. So thanks for watching this video. Um, this is another car shop slash uh, operations video. And I'll be at you next week with another new video. Thanks again.